in especially behavioral manner so let us start without further ado so the agenda for this session why social media analytics for behavioral finance okay and then we will have a, a brief introduction to data analytics method for analytics and then i will uh, have a quick demonstration on how you can uh, work uh, with uh, social media data or any other type of text data to gain li like extract information that you can use in your research as well as your business purposes okay so <clears throat> here are few questions that may be uh, research questions and all for like does social media affect the decision of the investors what is the relationship between information from social media and, and investment decisions what is the relationship between online community behavior and investment decisions like uh, these are the things the uh, many a times like uh, if you will see youtube influencers and instagram influencers they influence your investment decisions they provide you some information they provide their opinion and they uh, like uh, influence your in investment decision sometimes you you may have seen like recently uh, uh, an incident occurred and uh, uh, qatar airways uh, like india they started a trend boycotting qatar airways and due to that share prices of qatar airways uh, like plunged down so are there any, any relationship between uh, social media and investment decision what is the relationship between the firm's image and investment decision like uh, social media image of any firm if it is bad will you be investing in that firm or it is good and even if its fundamentals are low will you be investing in that firm those those are the questions that may be a uh, research questions for you and the other things is are when a company burst out a positive or negative news uh, sometimes what happens to the stock price movements of the company when a company burst out a positive or negative news what happens to the concentration of shares in circulation like uh, do uh, circulated shares increase or decrease for the given company and all and what are the effects of social media incidents of company on the stock price movements like uh, any social media incident this uh, many incidents were there when uh, people start boycotting for example uh, few like in last diwali you, you might have heard about tanish cat and which caused a great uproar on social media and company had to retrace back its advertisement so there are many incidents due to which social media influences investment and marketing decisions of different com companies and due to that share markets are also affected so these are the questions that may be potential research questions in behavioral finance that you can use uh, uh, to solve using the data using the social media data reviews and other things so this was the background how you can use uh, social media analytics and all uh, in your research purposes and then now we will see how what are the approaches Uh, towards uh, in social media analytics and towards uh, how you can analyze social media so first are machine learning approaches machine le learning approaches can be defined in a single statement if it look looks like a dog or behaves like a dog it it is probably a dog what it means in machine learning approaches we normally don't know how things are going on we feed the uh, machine learning model an input and it gives us the output that's it uh, we we will tell the machine learning models that uh, there are 100 dogs it will scan each dog and then after that we will uh, say in that look this is an animal it is a dog or dog. and he will scan it uh, uh, it looks like a dog or behaves like a dog or not and then it will say yeah it is probably a dog and you can say i have highlighted probably this is because the machine learning model will aditya we cannot hear you hello yes, your voice was breaking now it is fine okay so like um, Okay, so have you uh, listened to my dog example? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
so machine learning uh, while using machine learning models we really don't need to know how they are working we just feed the input data uh, to the model and then it will process the input and then the model is trained after training we can uh, uh, do classification or prediction or anything else whatever we want we can do that and mostly in text analytics in social media analytics we will use uh, we can use machine learning approaches in classification applications like sentiment analysis sentiment analysis so okay we will see what is sentiment analysis let's there are many tools and techniques uh, as i have said we don't need to know what the underlying technique is but there are different techniques like support vector machines nay bias classifiers can and nibers logistic regression decision tree all these are based on mathematical algorithms and we really don't need to know about them if we are just using the uh, algorithms the second thing is machine lexicon based approaches these are slightly detailed and we need to know the details about how things are working so if i can like uh, the, uh, describe lexicon based approach it's like if an animal has four legs a tail is canine and it sounds like a dog it is probably a dog so in the first case we just were uh, seeing that if it, if it looks like a dog and it behaves like a dog it's a dog but in second thing we are confirming that it should have a tail it should be a canine it should have four legs and it should sound like a dog a uh, dog bark then probably it's a dog so lexicon based approaches are more focused towards many like uh, uh, we assign priorities we assign values to different words and then we decide whether uh, different things uh, uh, what are the like we can say what conclusions we can derive from it so it is a more elaborate process of classifying text or analyzing data let's converse it's a uh, verbal meaning like uh, uh, you can say in uh, here sentiment is verbal meaning like it's positive or negative or anything else and based on the assumption that contextual sentiment criteria of the sum of sentiment orientation of each word in the text like it uh, in simple terms it is saying that overall sentiment of a Uh, uh, sentence is the sum of sentiment of the words in the uh, uh, in our sentence like if a sentence is i am a good boy so overall sentence of this uh, overall sentiment of this term will be the sum of sentiment of i am a good boy we will calculate sentiment for each word and then we will say that Uh, we will uh, sum it and average it, and then I will say that I, uh, the sentiment for "I am a good boy" is uh, this much value. And lexicon-based approaches generally rely on corpus data that use dictionary-based matching. So uh, I will show you how corpus data works. And then generally, the corpus data is, is crowd-sourced words with attached sentiment and emotion. Okay. so in demonstration we only have three things data collection pre processing and data analysis in data collection uh, uh, we normally use web scraping with the help of automated computer programs and modules like selenium and beautiful so generally we programmers like uh, uh, use to write our own code and uh, uh, extract the data however if you are not from tech and you don't know how to code you can use existing data sets from websites like kaggle or many websites provide these services uh, uh, they are paid services of course but you can scrape data from any date and from any topic from uh, those websites so for google reviews and amazon reviews best website is autoscraper.com i have also used it sometimes when i don't have time to uh, like uh, automate the thing so i sometimes use this website too and then there is twitter uh, for twitter you can use like uh, it's a twip module we use in our programs and for automated like uh, if you want software as a service you can use octopus.com 
to as extract data from Facebook, you can use epify.com. These are the websites like epify, octopus.com, and orbispaper.com. From these websites, you can uh, collect data. You can pay them and. Uh, uh, you can give them the keywords, the dates in which we, you want to extract the data, and they will send you the data in CSV format. And after that, we pre-process the reviews. There are many other things uh, involved in pre-processing, like removing unwanted characters, converting the text into a, a small case or lower case, and, and other things. We will look into each of these. In data analysis, uh, we will mainly do three things like sentiment analysis, emotion analysis, and POS tagging based. Uh, this is aspect based opinion mining. We will see about which aspect the, uh, 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 like people are thinking, what about which aspect. And for this, we will extract noun, adjective, verb, ad adverb, etc. And then after that, you can use a statistical analysis tool to analyze the uh, extracted knowledge. Uh, to like uh, 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 prove or disapprove your hypothesis. So we will move towards demonstration, and uh, we have left out some questions like how lexicon-based approaches are. First thing is how uh, uh, purpose data is used, and the next thing is mm -hmm. yeah. This is the only question that we have raised, how purpose data is created and other things we will see in the demonstration. So, is this student visible on my code is new screen? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, you might find it difficult to understand this thing, but uh, I'll make it easy for you. And you don't really need to go into, like, you you don't really need to understand each statement in the thing. I just want to uh, give you an overview of the process so that you can understand how things work. That's it. Uh, that's the main goal of this session. That you know about that things work this way. That's it. So, in, in this uh, notebook, this software is called Jupyter Notebook. Here, mainly data scientists use to perform data analysis and all. Here, uh, the first statement, like here, you will see import statements. Import statements are used to, like, uh, I have named a few things like QiPi and Selenium in my slides. Those things are used uh, here, like, imported in programming languages and programs to work in our program. So, in import statements, we uh, just import, like, we download the different tools to into our program so that we can use them. After that, we load the data. Currently, I, uh, the, like, we don't have time to escape the data, so I have just uh, downloaded the data, and then I'll show you how the data is. So, this is a financial headline data uh, from 2000, I think, 18 to 2021. Okay, so there are different uh, headlines like according to Graham, the company has no plans to move all production to Russia. Technopolis plans to develop in a area of no less than 10 thousand square and other things. About 4,800 headlines are there. We will be analy analyzing these this data for social media analytics. Okay. So, uh, after importing all the modules, we just uh, import the data. Uh, Im uh, for importing data, we use another function. And then you can see uh, our data has been loaded into uh, our program. And you can see that here, for first line, second statement, everything is given here. After loading the data, we just, we will just uh, it's a data frame, it's like a table. The data is loaded in a table. You can see that here is a tabular structure. So we just need to extract the text. So we will uh, extract text data from this. And uh, you can say that uh, after in the variable y, we have extracted all the textual data. And uh, you can see that at y0, our first statement is there. At y1, our second statement will be there. At y2, 
तो y इज अ कंटेनर ऑब्जेक्ट वेयर एट इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जीरो टू लेंथ ऑफ y लेट मी चेक द लेंथ ऑफ y so uh, there are 4846 headlines so why contains all the headlines of our data okay and after uh, that after containing the data we will use sentiment analysis what is sentiment first of all so sentiment has a polarity let me open what is meant by sentiment in uh, data analytics uh, a, a sentiment can be positive or negative it's like uh, you are assigning a side to like it can if it's a happy thing so it can be positive it is showing uh, like it's more like real life things like uh, when uh, any sentence or anything think that yeah it shows a positive real life situation we assign a positive sentiment to the sentence and if it it shows negative real life situation or <coughs> emotion we assign negative sentiment to the data for sentiment analysis we, we i have used test blob library here it is very simple to use it we can feed each sentence into test blob function and it will give us the sentiment polarity of the Uh, uh like uh, it it will give us the sentiment polarity of the center for example here you can see that i have i can give a custom example here i am a good boy okay so you can see that the uh, when i have said i am a good boy to the uh, 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 function it has shown that polarity is of point seven, like it's about uh, positive. In sentiment analysis, we for most negative terms we give minus one polarity, and for most positive terms we give plus one polarity. So, if a sentence has a, a polarity close to plus one, it is considered that the sentence has a positive sentiment. and if a sentence has uh, polarity close to and uh, minus 1 it, it is said to have negative sentiment and if it has uh, it is close to zero polarity it is said to have neutral sentiment so here if i am giving it i am a good boy it is showing that the polarity is 0.7 that means it is showing highly positive sentiment what subjectivity means is uh, there are things factuality of data so if we are giving a fact it it won't be subjective so if subjectivity is close to 1 it means that the data is not a fact i am a good boy is not a fact okay so a uh, higher subjectivity value means that the data is not a fact so uh, 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 the polarity means the, like its sentiment polarity will give you its sentiment and subjectivity will give you how factual the data is in place of good if i am placing bad let's see So the polarity has been reversed to minus point six nine. It is showing that the uh, sentence is of negative sentiment. Okay. Am I audible? Yes. Hello. Yes. 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 You are audible. So, uh, like. Uh, can you get me what i am saying yes sir yes sir okay thank you so in uh, sentiment 
analysis we just have to calculate the polarity in most of the thing uh, if you will see researches in uh, management domains generally the work is done until here only like people just calculate sentiment and then uh, you can publish your research paper very easily after uh, if you have a popular course or that is the condition so like uh, uh, after sentiment analysis you have enough uh, uh, in, uh, like enough knowledge you you can expect enough knowledge from the data that you can publish a full fledged uh, paper after that from sentiment like sentiment you can see uh, there is positive there is negative there is neutral but you cannot identify it if it's happy or joy or anything else so for that you can use in emotion analysis in emotion analysis we can identify eight to 10 kind of emotion like positive negative anger anticipation disgust fear joy sadness surprise and trust we can identify these many class classes from a text for this we use lexicon based approach now what is a lex what a lexicon based approach really means so in lexicon based approach suppose i have 10 words i mean we can take 10 words we take good bad and let us say can anyone give me ideas for about some word like that we use in real life so let's say we have five words now in lexicon based approaches what we first do is we will assign sentiment to each word like or emotion or anything else if we are building a sentiment analysis model we will assign sentiment to each word like to, uh, to we we can assign it is neutral to take we can assign neutral or zero we can say good we can assign one that is its positive sentiment bad we can assign minus one prestigious we can assign one so in lexicon based approaches thousands of people assign sentiments to different words okay like uh, generally uh, the most lexicons that are used are developed by four universities so they have done this task really well and the uh, university in canada has also done this task. so different words have been collected around 60000 english words and they have been assigned different sentiments and emotions after that what we do is when we get a sentence suppose that i am getting i am a good boy so i have if i have to calculate the sentiment of this sentence what i will do is i will check what is the sentiment of i in this corpus for each word like for i am what is the uh, the sentiment for a uh, what is the sentiment for good what is the sentiment and for boy what is the sentiment but before that uh, we know that am a i these kind of words don't really uh, contribute to sentiment and also uh, our sentence we can reduce it to good boy and we will check if uh, what is the sentiment of good boy so for good we have one sentiment so it is positive and for boy we don't have any sentiment so we will uh, assign neutral to it 1 plus 0 is there so we have two words and we have a total of one uh, uh, sentiment score however we can see that the, uh, the sentiment that has zero the word that has zero sentiment score is that noun so noun generally don't 
कंट्रीब्यूट टू आवर ओपिनियन और सेंटिमेंट तो दिस इज वाई आवर सेंटिमेंट मॉडल इज गिवन स्कोर ऑफ पॉइंट सेवन दैट इज हाईली पॉजिटिव फॉर सेंटिमेंट स्कोर that is we calculate sentiment for each word and then we consolidate the result to form the result for our whole sentence and if you want to analyze whole text then uh, the result for whole sentence is again consolidated and result for whole text is analyzed okay so uh, the lexicon based approach is work this way so for lexicon based approaches you can uh, use another tool is there uh, nrc lex it is a popular tool it was developed by some university in canada i don't remember the name here is the official the information is in there so like it was developed by some university in canada so in nrc lex library what we have we have a whole library of words where each word is assigned an emotion okay and when we uh, and we, we can use that library to assign emotion to our word and sentences for example if i am giving i am a good boy to this tool like this function it will assign emotions to my sentence see you can see that uh, it has assigned trust uh, with a score point 14 like it's close to zero but it has and surprise here you can see an anomaly here trust surprise positive negative disgust joy anticipation every emotion has been assigned a single score this is because like uh, uh, the sentence doesn't really adhere to a uh, fixed emotion and uh, due to this uh, the uh, machine learning this model the nrc model uh, hasn't really given uh, a great and but if we can change the sentence to a really big suppose that we take an example from our data set if you are taking a example from data set it is assigning a, an emotion so here let me check what is y4 and then we will see So here is a statement according to company's updated strategy for this year. This now, this targets a long-term net sales growth in the range with an operating profit margin of. I don't know why it's assigning the sadness score to this, but and again uh, this score isn't very reliable, reliable because every sentiment has been assigned the uh, same score. So sometimes these uh, when uh, the our purpose isn't very rich in words. these things happen and uh, you can get uh, like redundant results so th these were the things like we can assign emotions uh, li like we can extract what emotions each word uh, each sentence or word are carrying if our machine learning model isn't able to uh, identify what emotions are there it has assigned 0.5 and po uh, 0.5 to both positive and negative that is the sentence must be neutral here yeah, sometimes sentences are assigned fear anger negative and sadness these kinds of thing will happen like probability is given there like 
sentence being uh, showing fear, fear, fear probability is 0.25, anger is 0.25, and other things. So this this is about emotion analysis. You can analyze emotion and detect emotions of different sentences. You can consolidate the results and then anal uh, analyze it, it uh, statistically to obtain the results. And after that, we can also <coughs> Perform. Uh, uh, we can also dig a little bit deeper into the data and identify what each uh, what the people are uh, discussing about each aspect of the data. Like, if I am uh, talking about a stock market, then what are the people uh, what the people are talking about its fundamentals or what uh, the people are talking about its growth or what uh, other things? What are the different aspects? And uh, with each aspect, what is the emotion of the people, what are the opinion of the people, we can also uh, identify that. For that, we will use another dis dictionary that is uh, used in the SPC module. Again, yeah, this method is like uh, you can use it in uh, any application. This is just a uh, just a tool you can uh, use it any way you want like for any this is a text analytics tool and you can uh, you use it in uh, anything you want like uh, i have used it in my college no you can do it without coding too like code is very you, there are only three lines of code if i make this an api and host this on a uh, website it will become really simple you you will just put your data into that and you will download the results that's it. So there is not much coding involved, unless you are like uh, uh, building it from scratch. There is not much coding involved. Okay, so now we will look how we can uh, like extract opinion about each of the aspects of like uh, uh, what people are talking about each aspect of the uh, market or anything else whatever data you are working on so here i have used uh, like uh, spc module and again textbook library has been used for sentiment analysis so first of all we will extract different things like noun and adjective Noun, it's adjective and verb, it's a adverb, like verb and it's a verb have been, uh, will be first extracted. Here you can see that aspect and description have been extracted. You can see that here many, uh, at many places you can see that uh, the description is blank or aspect is black. We will remove these cases, like these are redundant, redundant things. So I, uh, I have removed that and then I have got a list of aspects and their description like a statement, a square, company, daily and these are things, uh, sales, net, profit, net, uh, profit, prior sales, corresponding, quotes, dealers or a, like a corresponding income like this is the aspect and this is its description that has been mentioned in the sentences. So corresponding sales and the other things. Uh, you can see the different aspects are there and corresponding description is also there. So after obtaining this data, you can uh, do an statistical analysis on the data and then you can analyze this, uh, so this data, data to like uh, uh, prove or disapprove your hypothesis and all. And after uh, uh, Extracting aspect and description, we can also identify for which aspects positive sentiment is there and for which aspect negative sentiment is there. Like uh, earlier, we were uh, just calculating the sentiment of the entire sentence, but now we, uh, after extracting aspect and their description, we can also uh, extract sentiment score of each aspect. Uh, of the data and for that we can uh, again use the uh, textbook li library and 
uh, uh, calculate the polarity and subjectivity of the aspect and then uh, here again because what happens here is in, uh, in here when we calculate sentiment score for aspect in description we have only a single word that is description to calculate the uh, sentiment score and in this case many a times our sentiment score will uh, come zero because uh, it, it is possible that the word we are searching for might not be present in the dictionary that we are using or the purpose we are using. So we can remove such results like here you can see that in, in many of the uh, aspect description you can see that polarity is zero and subjectivity is also zero because there is only one uh, word to calculate its Uh, uh, calculate its um, polarity or sentiment score. That's why m most of the things are zero. Uh, like polarity and subjectivity have come zero for most of the sentences. We can remove that data and then we can like uh, extract data that has uh, uh, non-zero polarity and non-zero subjectivity. And then you can statistically analyze. Uh, you can extract this data into CSV and then uh, uh, statistically analyze this, this, this data to prove or dis disapprove your hypothesis and all. This was all for the demonstration. I will move to the next. <coughs> yeah, uh, this is all for the demonstration. If you have any questions, you can ask me. But, uh, if you didn't understand anything, if you didn't understand the code, that's okay. But if you didn't understand the idea, what's going on, uh, how you can approach, then you can ask questions and I will be happy, more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, sir, I have one question. Uh, yeah. Could you please share how to search for the data? Okay, so for different types of, for example, suppose you are looking to analyze google reviews okay yeah. so for that uh, either you can use simply uh, 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 write programs but uh, i assume that you are from the finance or commerce background so you must not be knowing coding right yes sir so no you can use like uh, 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 yeah Aditi, uh, I want to understand this, uh, whether this aspect is metadata, which you're talking about. No, sir. Like, uh, I have, uh, the aspects are normally nouns and uh, verbs that, uh, that we have, uh, like, extracted from the sentences or the social media comments or reviews or any other text data. And uh, uh, th their description are corresponding adjective or adverb. That's it. It's not about the metadata. Uh, so, uh, so what I understand is first we have to uh, extract the aspect, and then we have to uh, match uh, these aspects in our uh, file, and yeah. then we have to calculate the yeah, sentiment. Yeah. yeah, we don't have to match this, this because the algorithm does this for us. But the process behind that is uh, like it matches the thing. Yeah. So, see, uh, first, uh, first I told you how to, like, uh, uh, first we were calculating sentiment for entire sentence, right? Hmm. But uh, sometimes uh, uh, this information might not be sufficient for us. So, we can, like, extract what people are talking about each aspect of the, like, uh, for each noun. For uh, suppose that we take a, our focus keyword as company. So uh, what people are talking about the keyword company, that, that, that we can extract using, uh, uh, by extracting aspect and its description. That's what I'm saying. And then we can analyze this data, like whatever people are talking about the term company, we can ex extract that information and we can analyze that information to uh, uh, like, uh, 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 like, uh, like, uh, what I, uh, what I am, I am understanding is like, uh, see this company description wireless. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, so this company, uh, this this is aspect company description wireless. Like right. in in sentence, it must be written as wireless company. Okay. So wireless has been taken as adjective, and company has been taken as noun. So aspect each noun or verb it uh, becomes our aspect. So company has become aspect because it's a noun. and uh, wireless has become description because it's a adjective so uh, so first uh, this has ex- uh, extracted the nouns and verbs yeah. and uh, then then it is uh, basically this algorithm is then matching it in the uh, file yeah and then we do sentiment analysis yeah right acha acha then we do sentiment analysis using this text blob Yeah, text blob is a tool to uh, analyze sentiment. We have also used it. Huh. Yeah. So here we were like here we are analyzing the entire sentence, right? Suppose, but uh, we don't want to analyze entire sentence. We want to analyze a specific aspect of the thing. Then what we can do? So then we can extract noun and its adjective or verb and its adverb, and then we can. Uh, 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 analyze those words to find the sentiment as good. Okay. Am I clear? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, will you uh, will you be giving this file? Yeah, I, I can share it. Okay. Thank you. The entire lecture will be uh, uploaded on YouTube after this presentation. Uh, sir, this file. Uh, sir, this file will be given. I'll, I'll share the file and the data as well. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh, I was addressing the question: How we can search for data? So suppose that if you are uh, you want to download data from Google uh, Maps or uh, Google Maps or Maps Reviews or Maps website or other things, Google Play Reviews. or google shopping reviews google traffic data search images anything else or from amazon you can use outscraper.com it's a paid website but after uh, like in 20 dollars or so in 1500 rupees you can easily download 20000 reviews and you can uh, which is sufficient for a good research and then you can do here you just uh, have to uh, enter your query at outscraper.com you just have to enter your query like uh, i have done this search in past so it is showing here yeah you can just enter your query and then uh, simply you can select uh, at uh, like how many reviews each place you want to take and then you can uh, click on scrape reviews it will scrape the data and save it to a csv file and you can download that it's as easy okay okay thank you sir any other question uh, aditya just uh, so the project that you have done like how the how will be the output looking like the entire okay. output okay 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 just so, so just to demonstrate that no okay okay so i, I had uh, done my uh, like uh, we had my, we have to do a, a master project in our mba so i had done uh, the project on this this same topic so i will show you the project and uh, you can understand how your outputs will come just let me Hospitals. So similar work can be done on any finance 
फाइनेंशियल रिलेटेड सर्विसेज और फाइनेंस सेक्टर और टू एनालाइज सम सेंटिमेंट्स ऑफ सम ऑफ द फिनेंशियल सर्विसेज बट दिस इज जस्ट फॉर अ डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन पर्पज ये शादी थी Yeah, okay, so this was my report. He did it under my guidance only, so we have all the right to demonstrate it. So first, I will show you the data. How over data we have. I have saved the data in binary format, so I won't be really able to show you right now. But the data was simply uh, reviews that are posted on Google Map listings. You must be uh, must have read some reviews before going to any place. So the data was uh, the reviews that are posted on listings of different things. So in results, what I did. after like uh, uh, extracting each aspect and its description i performed the statistical analysis on different uh, things so in finding uh, uh, what i had did that i had uh, segregated uh, reviews with one star two star three star four star and five star separately and then i analyzed different aspects for instance Uh, the, uh, for the aspect employee behavior, we had got like a irritated word was used 3.2 percent time, very rude was used 3.2 percent time, worst was used 9.6 percent time. So you can understand how uh, deeply we can un, uh, get insights into data that how many percent of time of uh, an adjective has been associated to a single word that we we can easily analyze like terms describing doc doctors were analyzed and good was used 5.26% of times what was used so like for each review rating this is for one star review rating so for each review rating we had uh, calculated the uh, frequency of we had calculated the percentage of uh times each adjective each term has been associated and then we performed the correlation analysis like you can see we, we, for five star review rating we have also done the same thing like for terms describing doctors best has been used 10.9% time caring has been used 1.05% of time cooperative has been. so you can see like for each noun we have extracted adjective and then we had performed correlation analysis so like for description of behavior uh, for like uh, you can see that positive and for description like in one star rating for positive description like only 19.3% of terms contained positive description for behavior and 48% of the terms contain negative description for behavior okay for two star rating same thing was done so after statistical analysis you can find correlation like for uh, behavior uh, the correlation between rating and uh, the positivity is 0.71% the correlation negative correlation is also high so you can see that if uh, employee behavior is bad it can affect the ratings very highly or employee behavior is good it can also affect uh, the ratings very highly so after you extract the aspect and their description you can perform different types of uh, uh, statistical analysis to produce results and uh, the analysis will certainly depend on like uh, how you uh, what are your goals like what are your research questions certainly the analysis will depend on that but you can easily identify many things 
that cannot be like you cannot simply read 20000 reviews and find that 15.3% uh, uh, reviews uh, are having are talking uh, positive or facilities and they have only one star rating okay great aditya yeah, what is the question Aditya, can you uh, can you name some free tools which we can use uh, apart from Outstrapper? See, uh, generally, programmers uh, only you you can get code and you can run that for free. But if someone is hosting a website, writing code and hosting it on their website, they will charge you some money. It will be nominal, but they will charge you some money. There are not like in my three years of data analytics careers i haven't seen many free tools i have a lot of tools of my own to be frank okay i, I can help you if you want like uh, i have already created programs for escaping data from twitter and all so i can give you the um, uh, code and you can run it okay uh, sure sure thank you that's it any other questions or queries if you like uh, as ranjit sir uh, have informed you that i also run a startup so you can uh, like i i currently have live courses on the website let me show you yeah so i will be teaching python programming and data analytics with python for, from basics we will be also discussing text analytics so if you want to join the course you can head to uh, avidpython.com a v i d u i t h y .com and there you will get a google form and you can fill the form and after registration you can uh, start the classes this will be a hands on learning so if you join the classes certainly it will help you get they started with programming and all uh, i will suggest you to surely attend it if you are just starting your phd because it will help you like uh, research very deeply into uh, data in your uh, research project so you can visit the website see what's there and then uh, register it Aditya, can you just uh, uh, put your email ID in the chat box because some of the participants are asking. So, like, I have your old email ID, triple ID. So, if you can just okay, so your... it's Aditya at avidpython.com. Can you just uh, write it down in the chat box? Yeah. Oh, I think this is already shown on the side the screen. Aditya, yes. Great. so uh, my uh, friends the social media analytics we have just discussed uh, prior to, in the previous session we have listened to professor op bias about the theoretical aspect of social media analytics and then aditya have demonstrated some of the applications and uh, uh, how to uh, just process this raw data in the social media or how to just download the data or get the data from the social media so this social social media analytics this is just a tool and uh, this this tool can be used from many perspective from the marketing perspective from finance perspective from the behavioral finance perspective from operation research perspective so this is just a tool so like many of you might be wondering or asking that how this social media analytics is related with behavioral finance so the answer is simple that this is a tool and any one of you if you are interested in doing uh, further research in social media analytics and related to behavioral finance some of the question that might be coming to your mind that how stock market sentiment is associated with the uh, social media sentiment what is the sentiment prevailing in the social media and how these sentiments are affecting our stock market or how these sentiments are affecting one particular stock 
like what kind of sentiment is prevailing with respect to say one particular company and uh, how this sentiment is affecting the stock of that price or what exactly is talking is being talked about over, over social media or various platforms about the market overall or one particular sector or one particular company and we can just find out the cause and effect relationship between these two uh, just last year if i if i correctly remember Elon Musk has simply written uh, one word in his Twitter as signal. Simply he has written signal and nothing else. And simply writing signal on this on his Twitter account have uh, created a hype in the market and signal the web uh, the company which is actually marketing signal signal is a, is a social media tool just like WhatsApp and Telegram. So it has created a, a boom for the, that the people have started talking uh, different different ways that now Signal is uh, Elon Musk is going to acquire Signal or Signal uh, and Signal prices have started booming, booming up. So this is just one incidence. So say, social media analytics, this is one question that is coming to my mind that you can address. Similarly, if you have any other uh, query, just Aditya have shown one application with respect to the hospitals. Similar application can be with respect to the finance. Uh, one of our students are actually working on dark financial innovation. Dark financial innovation, there are various aspects of dark financial innovation like privacy issues are there, security concerns are there, ethical issues are there. And what exactly people are talking about ethical issues over social media. So we are going to do the scrapping of that ethical issues. Some students are working on the privacy concerns which are actually discussed widely over the social media and we are going to do a scrapping or and clustering of the words uh, associated with that. So these are some of the work actually we are doing with respect to the social media analytics and behavioral finance in particular or finance in general. I, I hope uh, I have clarified some of the doubts raised by I think Dr. Dhruva Juti Bordoloi. Uh, if you have any other question, please uh, feel free to discuss. I will try and Aditya is also here. We'll try to address it together. Uh, so like what type of source will you recommend for this uh, uh, social media analytics for finance? Like uh, what you all use for uh, as a uh, source for capturing this data? Quotes. Uh, source, uh, source, uh, like uh, whether you capture it from the uh, news articles or from the Thomson Reuters. So like... Uh, different, different, it depends on the question. Like some of the students, they are uh, like Aditya have uh, uh, captured the data from the Google reviews for his work on related to the hospital. Similarly, it depends like uh, what is the most authentic and probable uh, platform over which the things will be discussed. Like if you think that our question is that we so are for finance, is, uh, so for financial so uh, finance is a very big terms. Like we can just uh, go for some uh, sourcing the data from the news, uh, news online news portals. Also, that is also one source. Twitter also is there. Some other uh, Google reviews are also there. It depends exactly what will be, what is our research question, what question are we addressing, and it depends on that. I, I, it cannot be answered uh, like a, like in a black and white. Okay, this is correct and this is not correct. So it depends what exactly is our uh, research question. Uh, sir, will it be a valid tool for publishing in research paper? Like uh, if if I very, download very, uh, very, from very the hot, Twitter, very hot, very hot, very hot topic nowadays. The journals are accepting the papers. Uh, like, uh, nowadays, if you just see the papers published in 2021 and 22, uh, many of the papers, uh, significant number of papers are actually based on this social media analytics and based on this topic modeling, sentiment analysis, and all these algorithms. Uh, even from the Twitter, uh, Twitter they yes. don't question the validity. That as a researcher, you have to establish the validity. You have to prove the authenticity. Okay. 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 Fine. Any other question?
any other question is there any course to deeply understand the social media analytics subhangi is asking i think subhangi you should directly contact aditya aditya is directly offering such course through his startup so i think that will be the perfect match for you okay, okay. so i think uh, uh, there are no more questions so i just took this opportunity to express my gratitude to mr aditya ras not specifically for giving his time because i think uh, i have right over him he is my direct student and uh, i have some right over him that i can ask him to whatever but for one special reason that he is going through a very crisis situation in his family and in the in spite of such a crisis situation just the day before yesterday his grandfather expired and uh, he just told me that he won't be able to continue this session but today morning he said that okay, sir he is mental, sir i am mentally prepared and i will be able to handle this session so that deserves a special appreciation to aditya uh, from the core of our heart that you have given such <laughs> so that is, that needs a special appreciation and a special mention thank you aditya uh, thank you for uh, being with us in the midst of such a crisis situation uh, uh, that the, the words are very few to express our gratitude in this moment uh, so friends uh, with this we are signing it off and tomorrow we shall we shall be assembling once again to have uh, another sessions on uh, specific, specifically in the first half we'll be working on the event study that will be taken by dr nayan jyoti vatacharji and in the second half uh, there is a change in the schedule professor amales bhawal sir will not be available tomorrow so we'll have social uh, network analytic uh, social network analysis session in the second half uh, tomorrow a detailed schedule i will be circulating soon so with this thank you bye bye and i'm signing it off with this